Zimbabwe. The West accused of trying to subvert Zimbabwe's upcoming elections. According to various sources, the West, led by the United States, is trying to subvert Zimbabwe's general elections this year. On Thursday, March 2nd, 2023, Zimbabwean newspaper The Herald stated, quote, After arriving in Zimbabwe yesterday, visiting United States Deputy Assistant Secretary of State in the Bureau of African Affairs, Ambassador Robert Scott said he is here to influence the forthcoming elections, unquote. The Herald mentioned that although Scott mentioned little in reference to the purpose of his visit, he stated that he was, quote, seeking an unprecedented meeting with the chairperson of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, Justice Priscilla Chingumba, in a bid to influence the constitutional body mandated with conducting elections in the country, unquote. The paper also asserts that, quote, the Western world, which includes the United States, is dangling a staggering $37 million to sponsor the opposition and non-governmental organizations in a fresh plot to subvert the will of the people of Zimbabwe, unquote. The Herald also asserts that the Zimbabwe Election Support Network and Election Research Center NGOs received $537,500 and $577,500 respectively from the U.S.-based National Democratic Institute to conduct a parallel voter tabulation process. The Herald also claims that the NGOs working in Zimbabwe will deploy 11,000 activists of the recently established Citizens Coalition for Change Opposition Party to disguise themselves as monitors while, quote, triggering waves of violence, unquote. Meanwhile, according to New Zimbabwe, U.S. President Joseph Biden's nomination for ambassador to Zimbabwe Pamela Tremont said during her confirmation hearing that she would arrive in Zimbabwe before the elections and, quote, deliver on President Emerson Nangagwa's yet-to-be-realized commitment to hold a peaceful and democratic electoral process, unquote. According to Bulawayo 24, the U.S. and the U.K. are keen on using NGOs to influence Zimbabwe's upcoming general elections. As per Bulawayo 24, quote, while there was a flurry of activity as the country gravitated toward the 2023 elections, in the past year, several attempts by the West, particularly the U.S., to sneak in so-called monitors were thwarted by alert authorities, unquote. Zimbabwean Communications Secretary George Chiramba says the private voluntary organization bill, which the West has been warning Nangagwa not to enact, that has been passed by Parliament and should be signed by President Nangagwa, which allows Zimbabwe to crack down on unscrupulous NGOs, will assist the government in keeping out illicit entities from the general elections. Bulawayo 24 maintains the U.S. in light of its anticipated decision to renew the economic sanctions on Zimbabwe would like to see, quote, elections fraught with violence that are discredited so that they can then use that information to discredit the legitimacy of the poll outcome, unquote. By the same token, Bulawayo 24 maintains that the U.K., wishes to subvert the democratic process in Zimbabwe to tarnish its reputation and thereby keep it out of the Commonwealth of Nations because, quote, member states have taken a firm position that Zimbabwe must come back into the Commonwealth and that decision must be a result of a sum total of member states, unquote. 